Wild About the Zoo is presented by the Hutchinson News in partnership with the Hutchinson Zoo. Hi, welcome to Wild About the Zoo. I'm Adam Stewart with the Hutchinson News and with me today is Molly Foster, a zookeeper at the Hutchinson Zoo. Um, just a little bit ago we had our special guest up on the table with us, but as any cat owner knows, um, cats go on their own schedule. Uh, today we're talking about Hobbles, uh, a cat that lives in the zoo's office. Uh, what can you tell us about Hobbles? So we were looking for a cat um, to kind of have around in the office. He's partially a mouser, but also a um, companion for a lot of us. Um, so we went to the local shelter. Uh, we found him. Um, he was almost an adult when we found where when we saw him at the shelter. Um, he was uh, he had lost use of his front left leg. Um, it had been shot when he was a stray on the streets. Um, so we went ahead and we adopted him. He's very friendly. Um, he fit with us really well. Uh, we did end up having that leg amputated um, just because he wasn't going to be able to use it at all. Um, mm -hmm. So he is our He's our three-legged cat, our tripod cat, and that's why we named him Hobbles. My understanding is that even though he's missing the, the leg, it doesn't give Hobbles too many problems. He seems to get around no. pretty well. Uh-uh. He, he can run even faster than some cats I've seen. I mean, he's not a lazy cat. He sprints up and down stairs. He follows us wherever we go. We say hi to him in the morning, and he follows us straight down here. And It's pretty amazing how well he can get around. Um, we don't get too many mice in here, but if one were to get in, uh, he also works really well as a mouser. Sometimes something will accidentally get in, and if it does and it hides around, he'll, he'll find it and he'll catch it um, better than we could. When, when we were doing the video on uh, feeding animals, um, we ran into a couple of other cats uh, in the... Mm -hmm. uh, the service s barn. Service barn, our, there we go. Our main back area, yeah. Um, can you tell us about those cats? Yeah, we have um, Splash, who's a bigger cat, it's black and white, and then we have Shadow, who's all gray, um, and those are both also our mousers. Um, they've been here for a while. We had also adopted them from the local shelter. Um, that's where we get all of our cats, and they always work out great. Um, just because uh, that building is a little bit older, um, so sometimes, you know, and we, again, we have doors opening and closing all the time, so those guys are really great uh, for mousing, too. And with keeping the, the feed sure. supplies in there, I'm sure yes, it's even more important to have mousers in there. lots of food bags in there. Occasionally, he will get into our lunches if we're down here. Um, if we leave it alone for more than about 30 seconds, he'll jump right up and we'll want to try to start eating it. I think one of his biggest attractants is cherry tomatoes. Um, really? Yeah, which most animals don't care for at all, uh, but he loves. So he loves playing with them and eating them. He's a, he's a goober. <laughs> and now he's in the camera box. And now he's in the camera box. <laughs> this is his box now. <laughs> This is the final episode of Wild About the Zoo for this first season. Um, hopefully we can come back next year with the second season. Um, big thank you to Molly and everybody here at the zoo who has been so uh, gracious and helpful in uh, recording the series. They've given us a lot of uh, time and access to record the videos. Um, 
thanks to Jesse Brothers who has helped uh, shoot the final couple of episodes and done some of the editing for the second half of the season. I also want to give credit to Katie Kildee. Uh, she was our photo intern at the Hutchinson News this spring um, and was the, the main uh, videographer for most of the ser uh, series, um, edited most of the videos you saw posted to YouTube, came up with that wonderful opening credits uh, sequence. Um, I also want to thank Jim Heck, he's our graphic designer at the News, who came up with the, the logo you see in the opening for every episode. Um, you know, if, if you're watching this video and you have any ideas for what we could do in uh, a second season, uh, let us know. We'd be happy to have those suggestions. Absolutely. Thank you very much.